Before creating, uploading, or downloading torrents, you may want to create a virtual private network. You do this by going to System Preferences, Network, and adding a new VPN interface. Right now I'm just going to use the options on the web page on my right. You may or may not want to use this kind of network, but this is what I'm using as my example. Default configuration. And I'm going to use the details from the site to the right as my details here. These settings can also be different. Now all the traffic you send and receive is now going over a different network and does not look like your IP address. To download a torrent, you will just have to go to a torrenting website. In my case, I'm at linuxtracker.org and I'll just scroll through here for a torrent that I'd like to download. I have not tried the new version of CentOS, so I'm going to download that right now. So here I'm just going to click on this magnet link which will open up my application which is uTorrent that will allow me to download this ISO file wherever I'd like. One thing you might want to be aware of when torrenting is here you can see the seeds and the peers. And here you can see the different speeds of upload and download. Here is a ratio here of your downloaded to uploaded ratio. You're going to download a total of 3.8 gigabytes of file for your CentOS. Now, a lot of people have different viewpoints on this, but it's important to, especially in a peer to peer system, allow people to seed off you to a certain extent so that your ratio is around one to one. So that way you're uploading as much material as you're downloading and it's uh, more fair for some of the other participants in uh, the torrenting community. I'm going to show you how to create a torrent and I'm going to start by downloading Ubuntu 15.04. So this is actually just going to be a standard download off of Ubuntu site and then I'm going to create a torrent out of it and upload it to a torrenting site. So this is going to be a standard download before I actually create a torrent. To create a torrent you obviously need an application like uTorrent and if you have uTorrent open, go to File, New Torrent, and I'm going to add the downloaded file that I just downloaded, which is Ubuntu 15.04. Open that up, and I'm going to add this Linux Tracker Announce link which will allow it to uh, be seeded and leached from the linuxtracker.org website. Since I'm a member of linuxtracker.org, I'll just go to the upload button here and here I have the option of choosing a torrent file. In the torrent file, if you notice, I'm going to choose a .torrent, not a .iso in this case.
I'm going to download my own torrent. You probably noticed that I actually downloaded the .torrent file and not any type of magnet link. You'll actually need to take one more step because when you uploaded the .torrent file and you created in the first step, uh, the Linux tracker actually assigned a unique tracker code to our .torrent control file. And that's the one everyone has to use this from this point on, including me. So I click to download the new torrent. And then now, since I'm the host, I will need to go download it myself so that I can actually download it from that magnet link and be the host. So now I've actually already done uh, started downloading from my magnet link, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that. So this is my panel for all of my profile, all of my uploads. And here is the magnet link to the file I uploaded earlier. And this is the file right up here, the one that's 30% complete. You see I have an upload and download speed. Once I'm fully downloaded and once anyone else fully downloads, they can now be a whole new server for this file. Here are a few points to remember. You don't upload the ISO itself to the tracker at Linux Tracker. The ISO stays on your machine, which becomes the first server to everyone else. As they get 100% of the file, they also become servers. In the BitTorrent protocol, computers serving to downloaders are seeds. When you start a torrent, you are the first seed. What the person who starts the torrent needs to do is this. Within the torrent itself, when uTorrent is getting the info together to write the file, you need to specify the URL of the tracker you're going to use. In this tutorial, we're using linuxtracker.org slash announce as the URL of the tracker. Then after the .torrent file is made, only that small .torrent file gets uploaded to linuxtracker.org via their upload a torrent script or form. So creating and uploading a torrent is a little bit more complicated than downloading a torrent, but especially in this case where it's completely legal and all of the flavors of Linux are already readily available, this is a good way to share with people who are using peer-to-peer -peer and actually sharing your processing power or your storage space to help other people do the same with their computer.